What's up everybody? Today we have a custom. Not really a custom in the sense of unique to me, but in the sense of we're just gonna change the color of a shoe. Before I get started, if you are new here, welcome. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for a post notification so that way you know every single time I post a new video. The Red Cement Jordan 3. Came out in a shock drop. I happened to be able to grab a pair during that shock drop. Then there was a second drop and I've always wanted a pair of black cement threes. Figured maybe if I could get a second pair, I could go ahead and do a custom. I started looking at both of them to see what the difference in the colors were. And the only thing that's different is obviously the colors of the upper. And then on the eyelets lower towards the toe box, the red cement has black eyelets and the black cement has red eyelets. Those are the things that had to change. And so while I'm waiting for that second pair to come in, I figured I'd go ahead and do the customization now and then do a tutorial. Anybody who's looking to possibly do one, uh, just kind of how I did it and what worked for me. So here's the Red Cement 3. Really, really nice leather. Um, that was probably my favorite part. Also, one of the big things that everyone is talking about is this toe box. The toe box is a lot more rounded. And then, of course, the leather. I mean, just look at how buttery that tumbled leather is uh, on the side. But in order to change this, we've got to paint over this red paint. And then we also have to change the colors of the eyelets down here. Now, you don't necessarily have to do the eyelets. I'm a perfectionist, and so it would just bug me if I didn't. And so I went ahead and did one of them just to kind of get a look at it, uh, just to see what it would look like. And here's one of them that I finished. Went ahead and painted over that red and, and uh, with black. And you can see that the eyelets are red now on both sides. Still able to keep that nice tumbled leather look. So, how do we do that? You only need a few things. First, you're gonna need to prep the shoe. You can use all kinds of different things. You can use acetone, you can use nail polish remover, you can use Angelus Preparing Deglazer. I used to use acetone, but for this one, you wanna make sure that you don't get any of the red on this white or any of the elephant print. So I wanted to stay away from acetone just to make sure that I, as I'm preparing it, the colors didn't bleed over into uh, the other parts of the shoe. So for this one, these are the items that I used. I used some non-acetone nail polish remover to prep the shoe. We've got some Angelus black leather acrylic paint. And then for the eyelets, I went ahead and used the Angelus Farsi red. Paint brushes, I've got one of Angelus's angular brushes and I've got one of their round liners. This one's gonna come in handy whenever you're doing the eyelets and some of the detail around the edges. One of the first things that I do when I do a custom and it's kind of a habit is if the insole comes out, I'll take the insole out. I just started to kind of mess around with customizing insoles. So I did something special with uh, one of the insoles on this one, which leads me to a message from one of our sponsors. Swear you guys better watch the whole video. Now for this one, I went ahead and hand painted it. I'm not a huge fan of hand painting just because an airbrush always gets you the most even coat, but I didn't want to tape off a lot of the shoe. So yes, I was lazy. But after I went ahead and painted it, I realized that I had to tape off a lot of it just to spray it to put that protective coating on top. And so for this one, I think we're gonna go ahead and tape it off and then airbrush it. But I just at least wanted to show you this so that way you know that if you don't have an airbrush, you can still hand brush these shoes and, and turn out really, really good. The most tedious part and boring is the taping. So I will spare you the details on that and just make it happen. So you'll notice that there's two different types of tape on there, and that's because the red tape is vinyl tape, and I use that to hug some of the corners. Really lets me get close to some of the details uh, without messing it up. So a lot of people who customize their shoes, they do the prep work as far as doing the prepare and deglazer or acetone or nail polish remover before they tape. I like to do mine after I tape, and that's because I can actually, while the tape is on there protecting some of the areas, 
I can actually wipe it down without worrying about some of the paint spreading to some of those areas that I don't want it to, even though I'm using the non-acetone version of the nail polish remover. This lets me be a little bit more free as I'm preparing the shoe. We've got this wiped down pretty good. The main reason why you're gonna to wanna to do that is because you're taking off that factory finish, that protective layer that comes from the factory. So that way the paint has something to adhere to. If you skip that part of the process, your custom will not hold up, the paint will not hold up. It'll either start to crack or it's gonna chip off. You wanna make sure that you take the time to get that factory finish off so that way your custom can last as long as possible. But once you've got that done, you're ready to paint. I'm gonna airbrush this. Like I said, if you wanna paintbrush this, you're more than welcome to. It'll It'll still look good, but airbrush is always faster. It's just if you want to take the time to tape off this whole shoe. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so now that we've got the black laid down with our airbrush or paintbrush, whatever you used, before I take off the rest of the tape, we're gonna get into the detail of these eyelets. And the color that we're gonna be using for this one is the Collector's Edition Varsity Red. You're gonna need your detail brush for this one to make sure that you can get in there pretty easily. All right, so it looks like we've got all of our black laid down. We've got our details in the eyelets. And this next part really depends on you and how you wanna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the protective clear over top of this because what I'll end up doing next is just my touch up work that won't really cause me to, re to spray the whole shoe. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a protective coating on top of the paint right now. I actually learned it from Vic Almighty. We're gonna use the Krylon Color Max Clear. It's got a matte finish, so it's worked pretty good for a few other customs that I've done. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put two or three coats of this on to protect the paint, and then we'll come back and do our detail work. All right, let's go ahead and spray it. We got it clear with the flat. And as you can tell in some of the spots, I've got a little touch up to do around the edges. So all we're gonna do here is go through just kind of some of the corners and the edges and do some touch up. Hopefully we shouldn't need to spray the shoe again. Doing this touch up, that should be the final, the final pieces. Got both of them done now, and the only thing that's left, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the laces back into it and let you guys get a close up. Make sure that you check out the next video where we actually turn the bloodlines into a Chicago One 85 High Mix.